Hey everybody, it's Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's LEGO Robotics. Today's video is about um, incorporating line following into your FLL competition, whether it still be this year with our hydrodynamics or another year uh, coming up. Um, some of you have been asking, um, because I've been doing a lot of line following uh, activities, um, hey Mr. Hino, how do we incorporate the line following into an FLL uh, mission? So what I want to do is I have my Sirius robot here. Um, I've just set up the pipe removal. Um, yes, I noticed the fountain's gone. It's actually good that it is gone, so it gives me a little bit more room to follow this line. But what I want to do is I want to go through a program, um, how to set up a program so that we can have this robot go to the black line, follow it, pick up the pipe, uh, and bring it back. So one of the issues is... Um, we have so much black on this already. Um, what are we, what might we pick up as the robot's traveling from base to this line? So what you'll see in the program is that I actually will measure out the degrees that it takes the robot to go from base to right about here. And you can, you can see how we'll, we have to be kind of precise but not, in a sense, not necessarily so precise. And then in the program, I'll have this robot turn. We'll go through the line following uh, portion of it, pick up the pipe with the medium motor, and then kind of do everything in reverse to go back to base. So let me go ahead and go to the program, and then we'll actually demonstrate that, how it works with the robot. Let's go to the Lego software. All right, everybody, I'm on my LEGO Mindstorms uh, EV3 software here. Basically, I'm going to show you what the program is to get that pipe removal with the black line following. Um, you can obviously take or leave what you don't like. Uh, you know, Keep what you like, disregard what you don't like. This is just my program for this and showing you how it's done. Um, sorry that it's already pre-made and I can't show you this as I'm doing it, but I had to make sure it worked before... I actually showed it to you. So um, what's basically going to happen here is um, I'm going to have at this very first block, it's a move tank. Um, if you've seen my previous video, um, I showed you how to find out how far to go to a particular point on the board. So what I wanted to do is find out how many degrees was it right before the black line. Because I, like we said before, didn't want to pick up any other black before we got to that black line. So I measured it out at 1,339 degrees. Um, if you're wondering why this is negative, I have the Sirius robot, so the motors are reversed. So um, negative actually really means positive or going forward. So this will actually get me just to that black line. And then what I want to do is make sure that my robot's facing the right way as it's following the line. So I'm going to make a little left turn heading towards those green ramps where the pipe removal is. So again. Um, negative, I want that turn to be actually forward, and for 360 degrees, yours might vary because I have the motocross wheels. Okay, so this right here is going to be the whole line following uh, portion of the program. If you want to know what I did, I basically came down here, I put in a loop right here, and then I put a switch inside of the loop. So one more time. Uh, a loop and then I put a switch right there inside of that. So here's some of the changes I had to make. I had to come right here, I had to put it on color sensor, compare and reflected light. I changed mine to 20 just because I know in our classroom the dark lines give around 8 to 9 percent so I just wanted to be safe and put it at 20. Uh, making sure my color sensor is in that right port. Then I put in two move tank blocks, top and bottom, for uh, both motors. Um, what I'm going to do here is I set it at negative 30 again because I'm trying to go forward and reversing everything. And notice I just flipped it. So negative 1, negative 30, negative 30, negative 1. And then some of you have been asking, well, how do you stop the line following when you want it to do what you want it to do? Like pick up the pipe removal. So down here, instead of it being looped like it is right there, you just go to time and I just set it for how long it would take to get to the pipe removal. Um, 
I actually, ooh, I actually forgot something in the program. If some of you notice, um, some of you notice that when you put on a medium motor, sometimes the motor will start before you actually complete your forward or whatever motion. So I actually had a stop right before this medium motor kicks on to grab the the pipe removal. So I forgot I actually had that in the program. So I had a stop. This medium motor will go for one second at 50% power to pick up the pipe removal. Um, this was this is going to have the robot back up for 100 degrees. Again, it's positive because that's opposite of what I want it to do. This right here is going to have my robot do that turn so it can face backwards towards base. And let me move this over a little bit more. And then this is just the opposite of this very first block so it can back up all the way into base. So this is basically the program to get that pipe removal. Let's go to <clears throat> robot and let's go ahead and watch that in action. Okay, everybody, so we have the program already set. Um, so let's review. We're going to go forward the 1,331 degrees. We're going to make a slight left to get onto the line. And then we have our black line following program set to go for, uh, let me go back and check. That was three seconds. Sorry about that. Uh, then we have the medium motor lifting up the pipe. And then we just do everything in reverse to come back to base. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. Okay, so that's, again, the way that we can use the line following um, program as part of an FLL uh, program mission to incorporate so that you can uh, be a little bit more accurate um, in your programs. So it's uh, in FLL, we're always striving to be consistent. Um, I'll be honest, I, I usually try to practice these missions to get it right. Um, that's, that was my fifth time in a row, actually. So what we're looking for is consistency to get things to come out right every single time. So great job here on the line following part of this program to get that pipe removal. All right, guys, I'm Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's LEGO Robotics. I am out.